What's happening, folks? Cheryl here, aka JFro90, coming at you with another reaction. This is my second Rihanna reaction. See, I did the first one. The first one was the Super Bowl, but that got like immediately blocked. I'm actually gonna work to try to get that unblocked soon. <laughs> but um, I did a reaction. My first Rihanna reaction was for the Super Bowl this year. No, no, I also did um, her songs from the Black Panther movie. I did the song and I did the music. So this is like my fourth <laughs> my fourth Rihanna reaction it's just been a long time so anyway 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 um this is her performing in one of my favorite it is my favorite era it is my favorite Rihanna time 2010 Rihanna red because we are in red October my hair is red every day in October a different variation different style length texture but it's red and um this song this era is the era where I really fell in love with Rihanna, where she really had my attention fully, and I really loved this album. This is one of my fa one of my favorite albums released that year. I still remember my three favorite albums released in 2010 were Rihanna Loud, Fantasia, Back to Me, and Candy Burris, um, Candy Coated. Loved all three. And so anyway, this is Only Girl in the World. I'm excited because, see... Even though I'm a Rihanna fan, I haven't seen a ton of her performances. I've seen probably a good handful, but not exactly like a ton. Um, so, but, though I did see her live. She performed at my grad night in 2008 um, in Disney World. So I've seen her in person, and she was great. She was fun, too. The picture that exists, I'm going to try to put it in the video if I can find it. Um, but anyway, 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 to this performance. I just Let's get to it. Without further ado, this is Rihanna live with Only Girl in the World. Rihanna has sold more than 15 million albums around the world. Her new album is called Loud, and she's taking the stage now with the first single from that album. Please welcome Rihanna singing Only Girl. Hey. Hey. Like I'm a hot right. Okay. Be thinking of me. Doing what you like. So don't forget about it. It's only me and you tonight. I wanna make it back for it. I'm gonna make you swallow your pride. Oh, want you to make it. Let me 
That band was killer. My goodness, my goodness, that they were on top of it. That was great. Whew, that, that the guitar, the guitar was my favorite, and I love the background singers too. They all channeled each other really well, Rihanna and the girls. So that was fun, and it just I love this song, and I love. I was twenty years old when this was new, and to me, this album and this era just represented young adult and it's not just it's not just her it's a lot of artists who were out at that time it, it was a real fun musical time to be a young adult and you know now i'm in my 30s and i think back fondly to those days do i necessarily want to go back no but i i that i feel like it's the sign of a great life where you can just look back fondly you know you can look back fondly and i did really great things with really great people for a really great moment in time and there'll be great memories forever. So anyway, and Rihanna's the contributor. Again, even looking at her at that time, you know, that was before she was a fashion mogul, you know? She was always fashionable, but now she's a fashion mogul where she doesn't even need to do music anymore, but we want her to keep doing music. So, oh, I love it, I love it. And I love Rihanna, and I love Rihanna. She's just fantastic. And like I said, just really brings back, like, it's funny to think, her debut was when I was a freshman in high school, so it's like she, her music really does feel like my ride from she debuted when I was 15 to her last album came out when I was 26. But she's, you know, she has songs since then, but I'm talking about off her albums. Her albums for me really... Her albums for me are really about my early 20s. That's like the perfect way to say that. That's, yeah. Yeah, and it just captures that. It it's again, it's that thing of early adulthood, you know. So anyway, anyway, what is your favorite Rihanna song? Let me know in the comments. Mine personally, personally, it might be Man Down. It might be Man Down. That or there there's some really good options. There's some, Loud is my favorite Rihanna album. That's <laughs> that could never be disputed or debated, but I really do. I love all of her albums, but um, Loud is just where it's like it's beyond the music. It's the time. It's the time. I also, I really have a special place in my heart for Rated R, but I didn't appreciate Rated R until a little bit after Loud. So you know, Where Have You Been is also like really, really special for me. Like that beyond the song, the video. It is. By far my favorite Rihanna video. Like, by far. It is really good. But Man Down is really special, too. And it's arguably a favorite Rihanna video. So, anyway. You know what I like? Let me give you an album track, too. I love G4L, Girl for Life, from uh, Rated R. That's another favorite of mine. And I love Rockstar from Rated R. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Excited for your answers in the comments. So, hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please go ahead, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. In the description below is where you'll find all of my social medias. Where you can follow me if you would like to join the channel as a member or join my patreon we'll love to have you on either or both and then just lastly oh that that information is in the description too and then just lastly thank you so much for even taking the time to push play on this video today that means so much to me and it goes a very long way and beyond everything else please take care of yourselves and each other